Hi everyone. Welcome back to Planet J Tarot. Today is a quick reading for the general collective to see what is going on with you. <laughs> Why have you been feeling this way? Why have people been coming in and out of my life? Why have I been feeling the need to be more social? Or why have I been isolating myself more? Why are people coming at me crazy? Why is work so stressful? Why is my family still bitching? Whatever it is, we're gonna get you those answers right now. Regardless of your situation, this is for you. The time you found it was when you were meant to see it. And I'm just so happy to have you guys here. Without further ado, let's look at what's going on in your life. Oh shit. First thing we got, the three of wands. Okay. What else? You guys are looking for something, something different. Oh, two threes here, six. Meaning whatever it is that you're looking for next is something that has equal give and take. Something that you can celebrate. Something that has genuine company, genuine friends. Good eats. Maybe parties. Celebrations. Good vibes. Five of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, no mind games. Ooh, and especially if this has to do with love. Some of you guys have maybe ended a chapter and, and ready to start anew, ready to start fresh. Perhaps thinking about someone that you didn't give a shot in the past, but you want to go back to. And this doesn't have to be love. This could literally just be anything that could potentially emotionally fulfill you. Meaning you could be wanting to go back to a job or a friend group or reconcile with somebody. Yeah. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So it's interesting because I'm I'm getting this the sense that for a lot of you guys, you have realized that something you were putting all of your energy in, maybe putting all your eggs in one basket, or maybe working really hard towards something that was just never going to give you what you, what you deserved or what you wanted. And now the truth is, is that you're realizing that you need to move on. Um, and I think... I think the reason why this is the three of wands and not the two of wands is because this is something that you felt for quite some time before you finally, you know, said, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to stop sabotaging myself or um, putting myself in a position to be disappointed or hurt. I'm also seeing, though, that for a lot of you guys, you are realizing that there are some people around you that are not having the most genuine feelings towards you, okay? Um, and what's being hidden, though, is that they're... One of those people that you are lumping into that group actually um, isn't trying to play with you, isn't trying to, um, you know, use mind games or anything like that with you. They might just be a little shy. I don't know. Um, but what you also already know to be true is that I almost feel like these should be switched. What you already know to be true is that with endings comes new beginnings. Okay, yeah, let's flip this. Spirit said to flip it. Okay, so tell me, tell me about what you're looking for what's this new thing you're looking for what's this new thing yeah justice in reverse i think for a lot of you guys you're just looking to not have to be the one that's always having to be polite polite always having to hold back always having to be fair always having to be objective because i feel like for a lot of you guys you have been deeply hurt by some people maybe even feelings of betraying and you're getting this urge to maybe isolate yourself and say fuck it i don't want to be around anybody anymore spirit is saying not to do that um and tell me why what is this what is what are these people what are these um energies around our, yeah ace of pentacles tell me why i said tell me why not to do it because there is something that you're missing there's a diamond in the rough that you're missing okay who who or what is this diamond in the rough that our viewers are missing oh and this is the three of swords yeah like i said again three threes have came out now for a lot of you guys this is someone that has maybe disappointed you a little bit in the past i'm not hearing like they broke your heart in the most terrible fucking ways but almost like there was something so fresh um that it didn't really get off the ground spirit is saying that 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 could be what you need to go back towards there's another energy here though that with the page of swords this is possibly an air sign bottom of the deck it could be a virgo or a gemini they could have either of those placements or just be mercury dominant i'm saying that because the magician is the card that represents uh gemini and virgo and it's also the card that represents mercury and it's no um crazy thing that i'm seeing one two three um 
one, two, three, four swords here, which has everything to do with your mentality. And with the five of swords in reverse, it's showing me that there's a need for a different perspective. And this is the perspective. Some of you guys may be feeling very hurt by somebody because you're lumping them in with a, a general ex experience that you've been having. But there is someone there that maybe it didn't get off the ground, but there's hope. Tell me more. What was ending? What was ending? What are they walking away from right now? I feel like a lot of you guys are walking away from something, stepping into something new. Yeah, stepping into something new. Thank you. You're stepping into something that actually makes you feel passionate. Something that actually makes you feel more exciting emotions. What else? Mm -hmm. And there's that six that I was talking about. Equal give and take. You're trying to walk towards something that no longer makes you feel like you're giving it your all for nothing. Something that makes you feel like, you know, you're on top. Someone that respects you. Yes, you're looking for something that respects you. Someone that respects you or a situation that makes you feel honored and respected. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups before we close out the reading. Thank you so much if you're still here. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if this resonated. I'm also going to leave some links in the description box below where you can find more. Pick a, ki pick a pile, pick a card, timeless readings. Uh, yeah, again, like I said, you're no longer trying to solve the problems. You're no longer trying to get over this regret and sadness or despair, disappointment that um, you've been constantly feeling from these people. No, instead, you're saying, fuck that. I'm not trying to fix it anymore. I'm not trying to be fair. I'm not trying to be objective. No, I'm, I'm going to go with my feelings. And your feelings are telling you that almost like there's so much pain and, and inequality and lack of accountability there that it just doesn't make sense for you to stay. Okay, so this new thing that's coming towards you. Tell me, what is that about? Ooh, there's the strength card. There's that standing in your power. There's that being admired. There's that being firm. There's that being confident. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups, but tell me more. Ooh, yeah, Knight of Swords. Someone that doesn't withhold communication from you. Someone that is an, is excited to talk to you. Someone that doesn't play games is what I'm hearing. Someone who's smart. That's why I'm saying you guys might be dealing with someone with Gemini or just air sign placements in general. Star on the bottom of the deck. They could have Pisces or Aquarius placements. What else is new about this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? Oh, I haven't used this deck in so long. It feels so great. I've had it for years. Yeah. Okay, we have the six. Yeah, someone that doesn't stand in their pride with you. Someone that can put their pride to the side. Someone that is not um, walking in ego. They're walking in ambition and eagerness, but not ego. And I think that's different than what you've been um, experiencing here. And I, and I know that you're looking for something that allows you to be a little bit more vulnerable. Um, yeah, a little bit more vulnerable here. Something that doesn't make you feel like you have to constantly have your guard up. Yeah, and there's that two of wands. You're not going back. There's no going back. Okay, so let's get you some advice before we close out the reading. And then um, I'll see you guys for the next one, okay? Give me one second. Spirit is going to lead me to a deck. Give me one second. Okay, what's the advice for our viewers? What can what can I advise them on until we do another check-in probably next week before retrograde starts? What's the advice um, for our viewers? Let's get three. One, two. Jesus. One and two and <laughs> three. Nice. Bottom of the deck, we have believe in the impossible. Okay. More advice for you says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, like I said, out with the old and in with the new, baby. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Beautiful. What else? Don't let pride get in your way. Similar to what I said here with the six of wands, you're looking for something that's not someone trying to save face you don't want to have to save face you don't want to have to put on a brave front you want to be honest you're looking for something that allows you to be your authentic self you to express your authentic feelings and to be honored for those feelings okay something better something that is worth your time is what i'm hearing because time is money and when you waste time it, it can feel painful right spirit is saying that don't you worry believe in the impossible because there's something coming towards you let's get let's actually get you a little bit more well, a little bit more. Um, give me one second. A little bit more advice for our viewers today. Let's get three. I'm really into this. 
Let's get three. We got one here. Two more. Actually, hold on. Get through. Need some more. Ooh. Success! Success! Yes! What else? Okay, we got two more. Bottom of the deck, it does say, in the near future. In the near future, things are going to start looking up for you. Don't you fucking worry. Believe in the impossible, Spirit is saying. What else? There's something better around the corner. That's why you had to let go of that, okay? Because there's something better waiting for you. Get more information. I think that was about that page of swords. Someone that you're probably curious about or a situation you're curious about and you want to explore but you just haven't done yet. Spirit is saying, yeah, do it. And finally, last advice. You're, yeah, you're ready. 